Today, we are bringing to you the authentic, hand-rolled Aruban cigars here in Aruba. We are with Benjamin, the owner. He is a native of Aruba. He is Aruban. Hi, Benjamin. Hello, how are you? How are you Good. doing? How are you today? Oh, I'm very happy. The same every day I'm happy. Now, tell us the name of your business. My, the name of my business is Aruhiba. Aru is the name of my island where I was born and raised. And uh, Hiba is a uh, name of a Cuban cigar they call Cohiba. That's the most popular cigar in the world. Mm -hmm. And I combine, I combine uh, uh, the name uh, uh, Aru Hiba. Then people know, uh, if you listen, you know you are talking about the cigar. The same way you should mention Toyota, that you know, we are talking about the car, and you, you, you listen, and people talk about Aruhiba is supposed to be a cigar. Nice. Then when did you open up this company? Operated in 1999. In 1995, was a tryout. I went to Cuba, Dominican Republic, Tampa, Florida, Texas, everywhere I rolled cigars with the Cuban guys. Mm. After that, when I come back, I came back, I start with this. That's why this is a hobby, yeah? But it become a business because everybody wants my cigar, they like it. Because it's so mild. You know, it's a mild, it's a mild, it's a mild organic cigar. I don't have experience to hold the world with chemical. So there's no chemicals in any of these no cigars? No chemical because, because I, don't, I don't export my cigars. Every uh, tobacco that you, you have to export, you have to poison it. Otherwise, they, they, they get, they, they produce their own box and make holes in the cigars. Oh, I didn't realize that. I don't know if our audience realized that yeah. either. So there's no chemicals that you use on the leaves. Now, you grow the leaves here? We grow the leaves in the bag there, yeah. Now, are they a combination of different seeds from different yes, parts, different yes, countries? Yes, yes, It's a combination of, I guess, some seeds in Cuba. Uh, I guess some seeds from Jamaica. I have seeds from Haiti. I have seeds from Sumatra, Philippines. And uh, from Colombia. And also from Aruba. Also from Aruba? Yeah. Well, now, what I've heard from a lot of people that smoke your cigars is that they're extremely smooth. And I've noticed when I've been around people who have, who are smoking your cigars, there's not that strong cigar smell. And, and they tell me that it's very smooth on the throat. Why is that? What, what is making your cigar so much different than the Cohibas, the, the from cigars from Colombia, Jamaica, from other parts, of, from Cuba, from other parts of the world. Yeah, that is the pose, the way we grow it. No, the, the, here, the way we grow it, the nature, the soil. Yeah, because the, we, uh, the tobacco become very light. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't use a uh, 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 chemical. Like, like uh, in, in Cuba, they, they make the, the extract of tobacco and uh, they, 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 they dip the, the, the leaves in it, they let them soak it there, then they, then they would put out, let them dry again. That was the tobacco was so heavy. But for me, a, a cigar don't have to be heavy for it to be a good cigar. A good cigar has to be nice, chemical free, you can inhale a little bit and enjoy, and enjoy it, that's all. Now, do you hand roll these yourself? I hand roll everything. I started with this business alone. I was alone in the back there in another room. Then uh, uh, I, my niece, my little niece, I have a niece they, they came and they rolled, they, they uh, <laughs> helped me roll, they like it, they rolled cigars. And, uh, after that, I, I make this, this factory, but it's most of family business. All my brothers, my sisters, mm -hmm. they, they work with my niece, you know, they work with me. Now, how many days a week are you open? We open uh, five and a half. Five 
five and a half. From Friday, from Monday to Friday and Saturday, uh, from nine to one. Now I noticed when you were rolling the cigars when we were filming before, there was something you dipped your finger into, and then you. Oh, what is that? That is a natural cactus glue. Cactus glue. Yeah, we, when you see around there, there is a lot of cactus. Uh -huh. You have to know which cactus. And uh, we cook it, we, we slide it open, and we cook the cactus inside. And we cook it, after that we let it cool off, put it, and that became a, a glue. That's my glue that I use. I'm the only one in the world that use that glue. I was going to say, I've never heard of that before. Yeah, no, nobody used it. that in the world. I'm the only one. So that's also what makes your cigars yeah. unique and different from the rest of the world. Yeah, because uh, the, the, the glue don't can stain, let stain on the, on, on the wrapper. Okay. When it dry, you have to dry, dry just clear, dry, you can see anything. Natural. natural, so it dries yeah. completely natural. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm really concerned about is you were in Palm Beach and everybody knew you over in Palm Beach over at the mill. It's the only Dutch mill on the island that was actually brought here from Holland. Yeah. And your store used to be there. And now it's no longer there. So we want people to be able to find you. So what is the address here? So people, when they go into their Google and they go, I want the Aruba guy, Aruba cigars. What's the address here so they can find you? Yeah, here is Soledad Nord. Soledad yeah. Nord. It's like... A Six minutes, seven minutes from the hotels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, I have a big billboard you know, by, by the side of the road. Mm -hmm. People can find me easy, but I have to do a, a more promotion about that, you know? Well, that's what we're here for. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I love to hear that. Now, what I want is I want you to describe these cigars to us. Welcome back to Aruhiba. Now, what Benjamin is going to do is he's going to take us through the cigars. So I see the yellow ones here. Can you explain these to me? Sure. This is a robot cigar. This is, we call it, 50 is a ring gauge. And five and a half is a length. Okay. Yeah, they, we call it, the, it's a cigar um, 50 by five and a half. They have a yellow label. And we have, we have these cigars in red label. The yellow label, I prefer, that's why I put two, two color label. But the, the data is to, to let my customer know when they're shopping, easy for them to recognize the cigars. Now, when they show, is this mine, is this that, and say, now what is mine is everything in the yellow label. That means a cigar who thicker is it, who better to get the dog? Who tend the cigar is sometimes it have a, a, a hard draw. Or my cigars, I'm talking about my cigars. So the thinner the cigar, the harder the draw it is. To draw. To draw. Yeah. Right. Okay. So yeah, this cigar made by hand, yeah, not, not machine. Right, right. Yeah. If it's made by hand, which all of yours yeah. are completely made by hand. Now, the yellow ones, are they smoother than the red ones? Very smoother, yeah. The red ones, are, we call it medium. Medium, okay. I don't make hard cigars. That means I don't have hard cigars. What I have, Maduro wrap. Maduro wrap is the dark wrap that I gave the, that I gave the cigar more taste. Okay. But uh, uh, harsh, like harsh cigars, I don't like it. That's why I don't make it. We have to just see smaller ones. This cigar, when you work the, the, the whole day in the office, you have like a half hour break or a 50 minute break, you can do this. You can smoke this cigar. Yeah, a small one, that's the main for. So that's the perfect one if you want a break. Whether it's a, a, a break. break, yeah, yeah. So if you need a break from work, if you need a break from your wife, if you need a break from the kids, the that's the cigar minutes. to have. Yeah, <laughs> but if you, need, if you want a one-hour uh, break, then, then you can take this one. 
That's when you go out with the boys. Yeah. Now yeah. I'm gonna sneak over here. Yeah, sneak a little and bit. And I'm gonna get one of these big ones. Yeah. <laughs> now this That's is pretty big. <laughs> Tell me about this cigar. You know, that is a big cigar. You know this cigar is very smooth. Is it? Very, very it's big. What we do, we make a hole here with a punch. Okay. A punch cutter. We make a hole and uh, we light all around and you smoke with your lips like this. Now open your whole mouth to put it in it. Just mm. and very, very smooth. Because the, the way I fermentate the tobacco for to make this cigar mm -hmm. is different. Now, what I also noticed about your cigars is that they burn very evenly. Like sometimes when my friends, they light cigars, they don't burn even. So you'll get the one side starting to burn, but not the other side. Yeah. Yours burn evenly. It, it's, it's two things. Yeah, we, we, um, my sister... What she doing the whole day, she, she made the, the, the bond. The bond means you have to roll it, put it nice, and press it good, and we press under the presser. You have to fill it evenly. You have to be professional every day to do that. Because otherwise, if you lose that, the cigars are gonna be, I mean, here, here, in this side, it's not enough, here's not enough, but this is too much. They have to evenly, and the way you light the cigar. Mm -hmm. I don't have problem with my cigars that burn nice and evenly. Most of the time. Now, do you want I me like to put it. that back for you? Oh, no. Oh, no, it's actually <laughs> very light. <laughs> now, I am behind the bar here with Benjamin at Aruhiba. Okay, you guys have to come and visit him if you guys are cigar smokers. His cigars are organic, they are hand rolled, they are made with love and they are made by family. You really can't get much better than that. His cigars are better than any you will find all around the world. You need to come here and you need to help support him and his family. And if you don't smoke cigars, that's okay. Maybe you know somebody who does and you can come and get a wonderful gift for them. And when you come and see Benjamin, you make sure you tell him that Lisa sent you and that you saw this video. And if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe so you can see more of what goes on here in Aruba. And if you have any questions or comments for Benjamin, we'll make sure to get them to you. Right, Benjamin? Right. And he will answer all the questions. He's so easy to find. He's only six minutes from Oranjenstad or Palm Beach or Eagle Beach. Easy to find. But we will also have the address down in the description. Thank you. Bye. Bye.